An Ahita. Sargon, your blade was sharper than mine. I should have been better prepared. Why did you... Why did you kidnap Prince Hassan? I followed Queen Tamiris's orders. I can't tell you why, but I still need to finish my mission. Your mission cost Hassan's life. No need to drive the knife even further. I was loyal to a fault. You never taught me how to deal with such defeat. But I'll find a way to make this right. No one can stand up against Varum and survive. A first time for everything. You said you can make this right. What do you have in mind? I don't know yet if it will work. But that's a chance I must take. Then let me help you. I can't trust you now. I understand. This probably means farewell. Farewell, Anahita. to kill the prince. Maybe four to face Varum. Varum lied to you. Then how come you have Menelias' bow? Aura, don't be an idiot. Put your weapons down. Oh yeah? I bet that worked on Menelias. For once, just listen to me. You're fighting on the wrong side. You could talk your way out with Nate and Artaban, but it won't work on me. Meet me out at sea. We'll settle this in a more bracing atmosphere. Hope never runs dry for me, even with the curse. But should the frozen wave give way, it would swallow you. Possibly. Time so far seems to be on my side in that case. For how long have you been here? It's a fog to me, friend. Look at the eroded tackle. It aged in a blink. In this place, it could have happened yesterday. Are you like me? Always see the bright side. That's what I told my wife. When the land began to rot, the city crumbled. She begged for us to leave. It'll get better, I told her. But as days wore on, she couldn't see anything but misery. Then, one morning, my wife and kids were gone. Fled the city. So why did you stay? It's our home. They'll return soon. In the meantime, I'll wait. Fish keep me company. Where have the fish gone? Perhaps frozen beneath the cursed sea? <laughs> How the fish tease me so!
quack on a ship. Pirates cut trees. Any trees to patch up their boats. They don't care what's whack whack and what's not. Not bad, kid. You managed to get here. A fight between two immortals. And no one to see it. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> I, Orod, the Storm Master, challenge Sargon, the Betrayer! Show me the true spirit of the Rashomon! <laughs> Come on, Betrayer!
realm of Bahamut and the Caspian Sea. Cross the hell bridge of Shinvat, or a bet. <clears throat> Crushed Hercules. No one sang about it. But you. You gave me the most glorious fight. Did you kill Hassan? What do you think? <laughs> Don't fight the current. Learn to sail in high winds, kid. I'll miss you, brother. The death of your friends weighs heavily on you, Sargon. I'm not in the mood to speak, Alcara. They were great warriors. They stood for honor. What choice did I have? They knew as well as you that great warriors stand for truth above all else. Sargon, listen to me. Hassan is coming with me. Step aside, Sargon. I'll deal with this. Thank you, Varum. Varum? Yes, you found some of those feathers. My visions were true after all. Whatever your visions were, I doubt you saw this coming. Step aside, Hassan. I'll deal with this. Varum the White Lion is not worthy to be an immortal, even less a king. Sargon, watch out! 
You are. You are nothing without me. A stray dog is not worthy of these powers. The feathers of the Samorg were never meant for you, nor any mortal. The Samorg is no more. Its powers are mine, and mine alone.
my turn. Be gone. Stop. Bear witness. My turn. My son, you will earn the Sea Morg's blessing. Then, as per tradition, I will reveal your regnal name. O oh, mighty Sea Morg, protector of our people, I, Darius, have come to present to you my son. Should you deem him worthy, he shall one day become king. The reign of the House of Darius is over. Topiris? What is this? Topiris! No! Ah! I prefer to leave such meaningless titles to humans. I have left your world behind. The Samorg is no more. It is my sacred duty to recover its powers. For the one who wields them will be equal to a god. You have completely lost your mind, Varum. These powers are mine by right. This is far from over, Sargon. Nahita. Why did she betray us? She never did. That doesn't matter anymore. She was tough on us. And yet, she gave her life. I know what you're thinking. What do you see at the end of your blade? I think I understand now. What just happened? Hassan, I have something to tell you and I need you to believe me. Sargon. 
You are the only one I trust right now. Tamiris, your mother, murdered King Darius. She usurped the throne. The Simorg never perched on her shoulder. Hassan, I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be. I never found she wore her title well. Nor was she motherly. The people suffered for 30 years without the Simorg because of her. I am sorry about your mentor, Anahita. She told me she was following orders from... from Tamiris. Then... Anahita was manipulated into doing her bidding? Just as I was pressured to maintain faith. Why even have me kidnapped? There's... There's one more thing. I'm listening. Varum is the son of King Darius. Is that... Is that why he tried to kill me? For revenge? All I know is that all of this has allowed us to see Varum's true colors. Varum may be the rightful heir, but he's far too dangerous. We must stop him. You're right. We must protect the people more than anything else. I can help you with what I've learned through scriptures and legends. Varum spoke of recovering powers. That means he's after the heart of the Simorg. It's at the Simorg Gate, but to gain access, you'll need the Key of Kings in the Tower of Silence. Then I must retrieve it. Hassan, you're helping me more than you know. Godspeed, my friend.